Hey there, it's Jo. I uh, wanted to post another video about my gastric sleeve uh, journey. So tomorrow is three weeks, exactly. Um, it's gone by pretty quickly, um, although there's a part of me that wishes I could just hit the fast forward button like a year and be skinny, <laughs> but um, I'm going, <laughs> going through the motions. Um, okay, so stats. I um, started out uh, just about three weeks ago, five foot seven. I was 250.4 pounds the day of surgery. Um, a week ago, I was at 232.1, and then today I was at 228.7. So that's 3.4 pounds since last week, and 21.7 pounds over three weeks. So i um, super excited about that. Um, definitely had like a slowdown this week, obviously. Um, and actually was stuck at like 230 for I think four days last week. And I thought, oh man, like the stalls come on already, which I do know is gonna happen at some point. And I'm trying to mentally get my head around that so I don't sort of get depressed when it happens. Um, but, you know, was happy like when the scale started to move. I'm not entirely sure why. Um, you know what, there's a part of me that wonders, like when I look at my weight history, I've spent like the last, maybe two or three years kind of at that like 228 to 232 kind of range. And I did just kind of wonder if it was my body like hitting a blip at 230, like, whoa, 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 we don't usually go below this. So uh, let's hold on for this for, for a few days. Um, who knows, may just be like my crackpot theory, but uh, I'm gonna stick with it because it made me feel better. <laughs> so, um, okay, so that's the weight stuff. A um, Couple other things that I wanted to talk about. Um, wanted to talk about what I'm eating, uh, what I'm learning, and what I'm feeling. Um, also wanted to kind of mention my blog. I think I've been putting like notes of it um, in like the YouTube video posting, but um, I have been posting these videos on my blog. It's gastricsleeveforme.blogspot.com. It's uh, gastric sleeve, the number four, and me, um, dot blogspot.com. Um, so in addition to the video, videos, I've actually then been posting like a little write-up, like if I'm talking about what I'm eating, I might provide links to that stuff or just kind of more information from what I'm putting in the video since I'm trying to keep them like relatively short. Uh, so you might want to check that out if you find that helpful. Um, today, when I talk about what I'm eating, you'll see some recipes on there if you want it. Excuse me. So, um, all right. So technically today I'm supposed to move to pureed foods. I've been kind of toying with that the last week per the guidance of my nutritionist to try to get to that stuff sooner. Um, so not like a huge difference for me, but did did kind of try some new stuff. So I'll just tell you like the highlights of like what I'm loving right now or what I'm enjoying right now. Um, so still doing my protein shakes. Um, I do the Isopure Zero Carb, uh, both the powder, I do vanilla and the strawberry. And then also um, I do the uh, Isopure clear um like ready-made drinks which um aren't the best i like the syntrax nectar better for like a juice flavor but um so still doing like at least a couple protein shakes a day um and getting in really no less than like 80 grams of protein these days um struggling with calories my nutritionist really wanted me to get to 600 calories i haven't made it yet i'm tending i've been over 500 every day um but still trying to like eat towards that 600 but not go over 10 grams of fat, give or take, and 30 grams of carbs. So really trying to like play with, you know, how can I sort of get more calories without more fat and carbs? So ice up here, protein powder is one way, to, one way that I do that, but I don't, I don't want to do that forever. Um, okay, so doing the protein powder. Um, but then in terms of pureed food, um, tried fat-free refried beans, which I loved beforehand. Turns out I still love. Um, so I might do like two tablespoons of that, a little bit of cheddar cheese on top melted, and then like two tablespoons of Greek yogurt, which um, I've been using the Faye, um, it's spelled F-A-G-E, uh, 2%, um, extra protein, you know, low fat, um, so that's that's been enjoyable. Um, tomato soup, uh, some people said to not try it because of the acidity. My stomach really likes it. I haven't had a problem. I just do the Campbell's like soup in a cup, take it to work. And I actually throw a tablespoon or two of Greek yogurt into that, um, for again, like extra protein. I've been putting Greek yogurt in everything. <laughs> um, so far so good. <laughs> so, um, and then today I tried a couple of recipes, which I'm, um, really excited about. So, 
Um, I was a fan of both, I think it's emilybites.com and the world according to eggface.com. Both of them do these like little um, crustless quiches. And I'd seen like a buffalo chicken kind of cupcake one on Emily Bites, uh, but used wonton wrappers and I wasn't wanting to experiment with that yet. Um, and then couldn't find the, what I was looking for with buffalo chicken on the world according to egg face. Um, but got a sense for like how much meat, how much cheese, how much spice, um, and made buffalo chicken uh, bites today, which uh, ate my stomach, you know, happy to say my stomach tolerated because I put a lot of buffalo wing sauce in there. They were, they had like a real kick. I like spice. Um, and my stomach didn't revolt. Like I didn't even have like it run through me. So that's really exciting. I also made some um, chicken enchilada bites, so I'll put the recipes on my blog at gastricsleeveforme.blogspot.com if you're interested. Um, and then also made some um, protein melts, also from the world according to Egg Face. Um, I might be calling them the wrong thing, they may be called protein bites, but it's basically uh, Greek yogurt mixed with uh, some protein powder, frozen, um, just for like a little kind of thing to suck on. So. Um, that'll kind of get me through the week, uh, in addition to, um, like hummus and probably some other soups. So that's kind of what I'm up to at the, at the moment. I'll put more details on the blog if you want it. Okay. So what I'm learning, um, planning is important. So I'm a planner, like no one would dispute, uh, this about me. <laughs> um, but for some reason with food, like I'm not, I, I never would plan my meals, which would, you know, inevitably get me into like hideous trouble when I would go to find something to eat. So I'm really trying to incorporate like that planner side of me into uh, my meals. And so Sunday for me is becoming like go to the grocery store, um, buy what I need for the week, make a bunch of stuff, freeze it, and kind of have a sense for like what I'm going to eat each day. I haven't gotten so far as to like mapping it out each day because I'm still trying to experiment with like how to get the, the right number of calories with the right nutritional value. Um, but I, I may ultimately get there um, in the early stages just to like know what my plan is each day. So for me, that is becoming important just so that like I don't end up somewhere and then now I'm hungry and my options are limited. And, you know, while now I have forced restriction, if I'm in that situation a year from now, I won't. And so I'm, I'll be apt to make bad choices. So even um, now we're like I'm not worried necessarily about eating the wrong thing because I, I can't. Um, I'm just trying to instill that habit of like always having something with me, like what I need. Um, so that I've learned. I've also learned going out is okay. Uh, I turned into a little bit of a hermit <laughs> the last few weeks. Like some because I hadn't really told friends and like didn't want to get into the conversation. Um, others, I think I was just a little bit scared. Like, you know, when I'm in my house or at work, like I have my environment, control what I eat. Um, but I've gone out several times this week. Um, you know, once I met a friend at a restaurant, I just checked the stuff beforehand online and um, picked a soup that I knew would be fine or thought would be fine. Um, spent the whole day with six friends yesterday um, where we like went out to a restaurant then went to like a bar drinking. Um, I didn't drink. I was the designated driver. I did have to make a story up for that. They definitely tried to push the alcohol. Um, but like I kind of had my stuff and like discreetly was able to do it. Um, and so got a little bit of confidence there. Like I can go out. I don't have to like be stuck in my house. So that's probably a good lesson. Um, lastly, what I'm feeling, um, I feel good. I mean, I've done a lot of work on myself the last several years, like emotionally. So I, I mean, I feel happy. I was happy before. I'm, I'm happy now. Um, the thing though that's on my mind, like I want to keep an eye on is like, whether or not my happiness starts to get tied to the scale. So my therapist brought this up actually, um, and I think I mentioned in a previous post, I enlisted a therapist and a nutritionist that actually work together. Um, so I've been seeing the therapist weekly and the nutritionist every two or three weeks. Um, I have another appointment tomorrow, but talked about the fact that I was weighing myself every day, which I've, I've actually done, not all the time, but I mean, a, a large part of my adult life. Um, you know, she just wanted me to keep an eye on that so that it doesn't become like an obsessive thing and, and that my happiness doesn't get tied to it. So that if I didn't lose weight or I gained a pound, like, I, you know, that doesn't turn into a shit day. Um, so just trying to like be conscious of that. I mean, I will admit when the scale stopped moving for four days, like 
I maybe got a little bit down. I, I tried not to, but like all of a sudden I was kind of tired and like wah, wah, wah. <laughs> best way I can describe it. Um, so just trying to keep an eye on that. So that's a summary of what I got going on. Uh, three weeks in, I will post more details on my blog, recipes and stuff. Um, and then uh, if you don't hear from me this week, you'll certainly hear from me uh, week four. Hope that you're doing well. Take care. Uh, oh, crap. One more thing. I wanted to uh, do a full body shot. I keep forgetting to do that. So um, hang on. Okay, so this is me front. kind of have baggy pants on, but front, side, back. And then I thought I would show, like, like anyone wants to see my stomach, but I thought I would show my scars. So um, I have five. You can see one here and then one here, like a big one there, there. And then I've got one, like, in my fat roll, but right there. So they're healing nicely. I mean, the light's a little funky, but. Um, so I noticed, like, everyone's scars are different, but. Um, you can see. So anyway, now I hope you have a great week. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Bye.